Lemon. I'm Mona Holmes, creator of the healthy food blog, Cook This, Get Laid. Today I'm going to show you how to make mold wine. I have to admit, I really wasn't a big fan of this, or it wasn't even on my radar until I was at the Alcove restaurant in Los Angeles. It was a cold night, the bartender recommended this, and I was in love. I knew immediately, well, not with the bartender, but with the drink. I had a sip of this and knew immediately that I wanted my husband to make it for me, and that everyone else needed to have this on Valentine's Day. So I've got a really easy recipe adapted from Jamie Oliver, who I just love. So let's show you how I do it. The juice of two tangelos or tangerines, juice from half a lemon, two bottles of a dry red wine. If you're not sure which kind to get, just ask the person in your specialty shop and they'll help you find a really good one. And you're gonna need a couple of herbs to really bring this mold wine to life. Three bay leaves a whole bean vanilla pod, and if you don't have that, just make sure that you have very good quality vanilla extract. Half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a little bit of anise seed, cinnamon stick, cloves, a quarter cup of stevia, or very fine sugar. This is the one moment, one of the very few, where you're allowed to put sugar in. You're also gonna need peel from your lemon and your tangelos. <laughs> Start out by taking the peel and putting it in a medium-sized saucepan. Put the juice from the tangelos and the lemon in there too. Add the bay leaves, the vanilla pod, nutmeg, cinnamon stick, and the cloves. Put it all in and then a half a bottle of wine goes in there too along with the sugar. What you're gonna do is stir that up four minutes. Keep stirring until it becomes nice and syrupy. You're gonna know right away. Wow, At this point, you're gonna to wanna to put in the anise. Remove it from the heat, and you're gonna pour the remainder of the bottles of wine. Only put it on for another four minutes until it gets nice and warm. Not hot, just warm, because you don't want your alcohol to evaporate. You actually want to taste it. And you've got a gorgeous serving of mulled wine. <laughs> Mm. So good. <laughs>